Hello, my name is Will and I'm a Research Associate at the Centre for Health Informatics at the University of Manchester. Um, I work on the ES, APSRC funded project, the Wearable Clinic, which looks at the use of wearable technology in healthcare. So seeing if we can use things like smartphones and smartwatches to um, better understand uh, and manage um, various chronic conditions. And I've worked as a statistician in health research for a while and slowly gained an appreciation of the value of um, open research. And also, sort of at the same time, realising how much of these practices are, are, can be undervalued in health research. Um, so in my experience, one of the most frequent failures of um, open research practice is the lack of readily available analysis data and code so um, where you can see on the slide some of the common responses I've seen as to why this might be happening so don't really know how to do open data um, how to share open data don't really know what open research is don't see it as a priority um, this reluctance to share code because it's embarrassing and messy um, and finally not being able to share data because of sensitive patient information contained within. Um, so I hope to use the, the SSI fellowship to help deal with this last problem, um, not being able to share sensitive patient data, because there's um, a sort of underused solution to this problem, um, which is the use of synthetic data sets. So quick definition, a synthetic data set is one which um, mimics certain properties of its target data set but doesn't contain any identifiable information so you can share it without worrying about um, privacy issues um, and what's great about that is you can allow researchers to run and reuse and repurpose analysis code using the synthetic data um, and not worrying about privacy um, there's lots of other uses too, but um, I won't go into details. You can read my blog post about it, which is on the slide and also shared elsewhere in this application. Um, I'm fairly evangelical about using synthetic data and encouraging others to do so. Um, I think it could really help improve transparency, transparency and um, um, and reproducibility uh, in in health research. Well, actually, any other domain that where you use sensitive data. Um, so, uh, outline for my fellowship um, primarily to develop and deliver workshops that um, teach researchers how to create and use synthetic data sets. Um, but it'd be part of a broader kind of how to on reproducible research, um, which would include examples of good projects that have used open research practices and synthetic data to good effect um, previously. Uh, I'd run the course in R using um, open software, but I know there are good libraries for um, synthetic data in Python. Um, and if possible, it would be great to be able to collaborate with a Python expert to rewrite the materials um, for Python users. Obviously the fellowship is a great opportunity to find such a person to collaborate with. Um, Taking it a bit further, um, I hope that the materials or the lessons would be included as in as part of the data carpentry suite of lessons. Um, that's quite ambitious, but it would be great to know that the lessons can be reused by others and it would improve its reach and um, longevity. And again, the fellowship would be great to help um, provide an opportunity to strengthen um, links with the carpentries network and would probably help me develop the format that would suit the lesson best. Um, so as part of this, it'd be great to become a carpentry's instructor, um, not just to, for this uh, this lesson, but for other lessons are and so on. Um, but I've applied already, but I know there's a long waiting list, so um, it would be great to, to, to move forward with that. Um, Similarly, I'd like to contribute to material to the Turing Way um, reproducibility handbook. I've made some small contributions to that before, but I think the synthetic data work would be um, would, would fit really nicely and be helpful to lots and lots of researchers. Um, 
I mean, generally, I plan to get on with all this stuff anyway. Uh, obviously, being an SSI fellow would make that a lot easier. Um, it would raise my profile, um, help me make connections with a uh, well, a, a well-established network of open research enthusiasts, um, and just sort of generally give me a bit of clout to um, help me to advocate for the use of synthetic data sets and well and reproducibility um, workflows in general um, so that's it really um, I'll just leave you with this tweet from Kirsty Whitaker which I'll take as a, a tacit endorsement of the uh, the work that I'm wanting to do thanks very much <laughs>